Data Arc is a B2B integration platform that simplifies data automation between your trading partners and your backend systems. In this video, I'll introduce the new import and export wizards that streamline the process of backing up or migrating Arc's configured workflows. So let's start with a configured workflow here in Arc's Canvas. If you're not sure how to build these, then you can find out more at arc.cdata.com start. But for this video, I'll assume that you're familiar with building your own Arc flows. The task now is to export specific flows, perhaps as a backup or an auditing process, perhaps in order to migrate to the cloud or another instance of Arc, or perhaps just to send your connectors to the Arc support team for review. The cogwheel here in the top right provides the export workspace option, and from here we can begin working through the export wizard. If we wanted to export everything in the workspace, then it's very simple. We just keep this first option checked, and there aren't any further specifics that we need to worry about. The only other question relevant is if we want to export sensitive values like passwords. If we do, then we'll need to password protect the export itself, which we can specify here. But let's dig into the customizable export wizard and ignore sensitive values for now. This next step allows us to select specific connectors from within Arc to include in the export. If there are a large number of connectors, then it may be convenient to search for them by name and ensure that only the desired connectors are included when the export occurs. After I've chosen the connectors that need to be part of the export, I can continue and a .arcflow file is generated that contains the configuration data for whichever connectors I choose. This .arcflow file contains my configuration data, so it's used to import the connectors on another instance of Arc or simply store for redundancy as part of a backup procedure. Let's go now to the import wizard, which provides similar options when importing a .arcflow file into your Arc instance. After selecting import workspace from that same cogwheel in the top right, I can choose which .arcflow file contains the connectors that I want to import. Once I've chosen the appropriate file, I'm faced with a similar choice of importing everything in the file or choosing a specific subset of connectors. Let's continue with a subset of connectors for the purpose of this example, and we can see a list of every connector included in the .arcflow file. I can search for connectors by name and see a visual representation of what I'm importing into this flow. Once I'm happy with the set of connectors that are selected, I can hit Next to continue to the conflict resolution step. If there aren't any conflicts in the import, maybe these are all new connectors, then this step won't occur. But here I have the option to 1. Ignore any connector imports that already exist, 2. Replace any overlapping connectors with a new imported set, or 3. Manually go through each conflict and decide for myself. In this example, let's imagine that the .arcflow file that I'm importing contains the most up-to-date version of these connectors, so I'm happy to let Arc automatically resolve conflicts by overriding the existing connectors during the import. This completes the import process, and we can see the new connectors imported from the .arcflow file here in the Arc canvas. So with this, we can see that the import and export wizards ensure that you're able to customize and control every aspect of backing up your Arc workflows and migrating your connector configurations to other instances of Arc. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources at arc.cdata.com.